it's, it's a Sunday afternoon and it's in January and we're in lockdown and I've put together a little video to show you how to have a play while we've got a bit of time on actually making different corsages. We've been very inspired by um, Gregor Lersch, he's been doing Lersch stories and we bought one of his stories which was Latin Romance and there he showed us how to make some floral structures using wire. I've taken that idea and developed it into a little corsage, not using the same technique as he does, but just, you know, as you do, you develop these ideas into your own style. Um, and so I've made this um, little thing here, if you want to have a little close look. So it's using a combination of wire form and also some fresh flowers. And it's very pretty. It's easy to make. Well, uh, hopefully it's easy to make. But what is great about this is that it looks at the elements and principles of design. So you can see in there I've used space with the flowers that I've made. If you have a little look close, you can see hopefully that's not blurred in. We've looked different forms. So using this technique makes you look at the different flower forms. Also, uh, it looks at space, I've said. So you have negative and positive space. We look at proportion and scale. And also we've got some wiring techniques going on there as well. And the colour. So I've put some metallic colour in using glitter. My, yeah, it's glitter again. And we've got the white. So the, the idea for me was that we're in the winter. There's lots of frost outside at the moment. Here, I'll just put up what it looks like if I pin it on to my jumper. Here's a pin. I'll just pin it on for you to have a look at. There. So... Nice little sort of a body adornment, sort of corsage thing, um, just to, to wear. But, um, it, so I was inspired by the frost outside. It's very cold. It was minus two this morning here, although the sun's come out now, as you can see, it's shining on me. Um, so it's just uh, wanted to get a frosty winter feel with a sort of a little body adornment, but also show you lots of techniques. So let's get started. What you need is some, I'm going to put that down there so you can see it. Um, some stem text. So this is a sort of paper-based tape. Um, you can stretch it and it's sort of, um, it's not as, not like parafilm tape, which is a plastic. It's not so stretchy and bendy, but it basically seals itself with the stickiness of your hands. It's very, actually, it's quite a sticky thing to use. I don't like to use it too much, but the nice thing about that is the brown tape. Now, we will put the link on so you know how to buy it. It's not expensive to buy, but you can get one of those. I'm also using 0.70 wires, you can see them here, and I've got a 0.28 or a 32 um, silver wire as well. I've also got a pin to pin it to your body or to your top, not to your body, that would be painful, wouldn't it? If you haven't got those wires, you might get away with using some real wire, right? So if you've got that instead. And, and then I've got some ivy, a little ivy berry, I'll just put that up there so you can see. Little ivy berry, which I thought was really cute, and um, it's got the lovely colours in there, although we don't tend to see that at the end. I've got one ivy leaf, and I have got this little ball which came from some Christmas decorations. Uh, and I felt because I wanted that frosty look, and you know me, I love my glitter. <laughs> the glitter has arrived again. What am I like? So, this is something that you could do with the children. Well, if you know your training as a florist, it's a really good idea to have a little play because it just helps you understand how to make forms and dissect forms and put these things together. So let's get started. The very first thing I do is I take some of the paper tape and I tape the 70 wire. And what you do is you put the your thumb and finger at the end and you twist it until you get it to stick together. So I'm just rolling uh, in my finger round and then I pull the tape oops snap there look and then I just pull the tape along the wire pinching as I go so you see notice I put pull that quite long along here let me just move that out of the way so you can see and then I'm just pinching it and twisting as I go and I need to cover about three of these wires doing this all right so once I've done that once I've done that I'm going to cut that wire in half and then I'm going to half it again. I need to, like I say, make a few more of those. All right, so probably about three or four. 
this wire and then I'm going to make the flower so I'm just going to show you how to make this little flower here okay there and we're going to start by bending the end of the wire around my finger and leaving it so there's a bit of an end so it's like that this is the end left and as you do that and we're going to tape that little bit together later so I'm going to do that because I need because most flowers tend to have five petals don't they so we're going to do that five times so you just do that and I've actually done some here um, and we're going to make two flowers like that and one needs to be slightly bigger than the other so you just need to make the loops bigger on one and smaller on the other so I've got five that I've bent here already and I'm just going to put them in my hand so just lining them all up with all the little hooks that I've made there like so so just put them all together and then I'm just going to tape them just where they all join so just tape them around here where my finger is and just use the tape and I'm just going to take that right down there and because they're quite solid I'll take them right down I'm going to just cut that a little bit on an angle there so that they taper down so you want a great big chunky bit of wire and take that down a bit more and then we just open them up so we've got the five little petals Going to open up there you can stretch them out to be whatever shape you want and then I'm just going to take another little bit of um, the wire that's tape just add that to the stem there to make it a bit longer for me so that I can tape that together so there you go tape it on and then I can just bring it in now with this one I'm going to have all the stems showing underneath the corsage here so it's important that I actually tape everything right to the end because I want all the stems to show so that's that finish there yeah so we've got one little flower and then what we're going to do is we're just going to take um, a berry off an ivy and I'm like, oh the other thing I need is some glue just a little bit of glue in the top of there and put the little berry in as a sort of little feature so, and then just let that get a bit tacky and then that will set there you go there we go little flower so i've got two of those now one's slightly bigger than the other and then okay so once you've made that then I'm just going to wire up a little ivy because I want this to be a bit of a recession. So I'm going to take one of the fine silver wires and take it around the ivy berry just like so. So I've just done a little loop around over the top through and down and I'm just going to take that cut the stem quite short because you don't want a little stem in your on the tongue end that's just going to go down here and then I'm just going to make a little couple more of these some leaf shapes and I've actually take this I'm going to take a pair of pliers actually and just pinch that tight because I want it to look sort of pointy rather than rounded on the end and I'll take that down and you can do these at any sh any length or shape you like so if you just have a look there, I've just folded a bit of wire in half and pinched the end. And then just going to tape it where I think I want it to be. Which will be about here. I'm going to leave these two ends free so that they can go in to the, the base, the, the stem of my design. I'm just going to open that out. That's how I want that to be. So there you go, I've got that sort of elongated shape there. And I'm just going to make one other one of those as well, so that I have two. And the other one, again, can be a little bit smaller, so I'm just going to go through that taping again. Pinch with my thumb and finger, tape, roll, and, and roll it down really quickly. 
Yeah, you could probably do, I don't know, maybe do about seven of these at the beginning, say if you're doing them stopping and starting. Just pinch that at the top. I'll do that on the table so you can see. Pinch that there. And I want that one to be smaller than this one. So I'll just hold it up a bit tighter and then open it up. And again, not going to tape right down to the bottom because I want the stems to come through the bottom of the corsage and be able to open them, like so. So I have got two now. There we go. Let's just pinch that, open that up so it's a bit thinner. So there's my two leaves. Now what I've been doing, now they look quite nice without any um, glitter on. But because I'm trying to get a frosty look, I think it's important to have that sort of glitter effect. So what I've done is I've taken some um, glue and just covered, I'll just take that off there a second, just taken a very faint bit of glue around and put it on the leaf. Just let that tack off for a minute. And I'm going to put some on the flowers as well. Now don't worry too much, you can be a little bit messy to start with because what we're going to do is brush it. So I've got our brush here that I'm just going to tidy it up with the brush or if you want you can use a bit of wire. That's what I was using earlier, I was using some odd bits of wire that I've got lying around just to take off the excess so you haven't got clumps of wire, sorry, sorry, clumps of glue. So I can just take that one and I just went round and sort of smoothed it all out. I wish I had my glasses on. Take out the love without them. So that's looking okay. And then what I did is I actually took the glitter pot and um, you can see there's a bit there and I'll smooth them out a bit. There we go. And I just dumped the thing in the glitter just to give it a sparkle. And I noticed I didn't put any glue in the middle so I'm going to put a little bit on the, the berry in the middle as well. So I'll just pop that in again. There, so a little sparkle, a bit of, bit of frost. So that's that one, and we'll do the same for this one as well. There, two frosty, two frosty flowers that we've made, and also let's do this and again just smooth it around a bit, take off any excess bits of glue, so it's not chunky. And with this one, it seems to find it's easier just to dunk it in you get a better coverage and if you sprinkle it with your hands and it's a little bit less messy as well there you go I mean it's not until you take it out until you see they worked out okay so I'm happy with those um the other thing I want to do is just put a tiny bit of dusting on to the ivy so I'm just going to um wire this now when we wire we do a very very tiny stitch either side of the vein it's really important that it's really tiny because you don't want to see it either side of the vein and that supports it and I hold it there I bend it down and then I take one side and I just wrap it round cut the leaf um, stem a little bit long shorter sorry and then I'm just going to tape that there normally I use the green tape but because we want it to look all stemmy and remember I said we're going to take that right through so I want that taped right to the end and then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of the glue on the end of there just a little dusting as though it's just had a little sprinkle of frost in the morning and then we're going to start um, the other thing that I've used flower wise because and it's such a delicate small form what I've used is actually some a little uh, Calanchio flask that I have. So that's a little Calanchio 
Just take that out so you can have a look. There, for one of these. Brilliant little tiny florets if you look really close. Okay, so they can be taken off individually. So I will put the full list of everything I've used out for you. So if you do want to have a go. Now I'm just taking those off. And the simplest way, now if we glue the end, they last for ages actually, just by gluing the end of this. And that seals the moisture in the bottom of the little flower. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a, a little form just to support it. So I'm going to take some of the 32 wire and take those. And I'm going to do three of those. So what I might do is put you on pause while I do that. And then I'll come back in a sec and show you that. Right, so what I've done is I've finished taping, um, well actually what I've decided to do is five of those. So I've taped five um, of the 32 wires and I'm just going to wrap it around my finger like so and create a little loop. Can you see that there? And then what we're going to do is take the florette, which has a little bit of glue on it, and just pop it in there so that it's supported like so. So we're going to do that one, and then there's another one that I've already done. And that means that we can get some space through the flower, but the flower's totally sealed, so we don't need to tape it. So this will just do instead. It's nice and quick. There, so that's three little florets with the wire. That's what it looks like on the back. And then finally, I'm going to take one of those wires and just do, it's like to try and make it like a twig or a branch. So just twist it and snarl it up a little bit. So we've got something that looks like that. And then the other one, I'm just going to do a little knot, a little set, just because we need a little bit of space and space, um, a bit of full stop in the design. So I've just done a little rolly knot and we're ready to put it together now. So first of all, I'm going to take these two flowers. I'm going to put the smaller one above the top. And then I'm going to take the two leaf shapes that I've made, one there and the other one here, and just pull them in. So this is my little binding point here, but I'm not going to um, pull these together, these ends together. I'm just going to leave them splayed out. I'm going to take the ivy berry and tuck it down low here so that looks, that's what I've done so far there. put the ivy berry quite low and then I'm going to put the little um, flowers florets through the ivy berry so the underneath these there's something of interest which I think is important so they'll sort of be exploding from the ivy berry below and with this one I want space to predominate so I don't want it to be all clumpy so that's why it's quite nice to have those forms coming out through the ivy. I'm going to put a little one of my little um, flower, not my little flower, my little bead the other side to bring that colour through to the other side of the placement so I've got my flowers on this side and I'm balancing it with the little ball on here and just to pick up a bit of the green, I'm just going to put that ivy leaf in front and because we've wired it we can just bend it back down like so and then I'm going to take these odd little ends here and just sort of pretend they're twigs coming through the design up the back and the little notch thing I'm just going to put there and that's it. So all I've got to do now is bind that off. And I found the easiest way to do that, is, and we can dress it afterwards, but let's get it bound off first. So I've taken some bullion wire, now again if you haven't got bullion wire, just to use, um, just cover up, just make sure I've got, I can see some silver wires poking through there, where have they come from? I'll just cut those a second, oh there they are, I don't know where that's come from, cut that a bit shorter there. 
So, yeah, so just take the bullion wire. If you haven't got bullion wire, then just cover some more of the, um, the 32 wire with the brown tape. That'll do, and I'm just binding that round to create a nice, neat binding there. And then I'm just going to go back to the beginning, cut that short, and then twist it. Like so, make sure you don't twist it so it snaps off. And then cut, and then just tuck those ends in back into the design so they don't catch on anything. Just pull those flowers out to dress it. And then these ends I'm just going to cut straight across, like so. Actually, I'm going to cut them a bit shorter. I don't want them to be the dominant side of the, the design. And there you have it. Just move that out of the way so you can see. There we have the little corsage. I'm going to pop that up again so you can see that. So it's quite simple to make. Um, it plays with a lot of techniques. And it's sort of like a little winter corsage that you can wear. There you go. I hope you enjoy that. I'd love to see some of the stuff you're doing. If you can post them, then we can share. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.